operation head out of ass day three so i'm at the fort Payne loans i don't know if i did it right or not on friday night i don't even know what time it is because time's just not even relevant right now and you may say why are you even at it lows sweating looking like you're about to pass out that would be because i've gone back to my high school days and anybody that's going towards town i go with them that's my new form of exercise is getting somewhere where i have to walk and uh, i have no choice so i'm doing better so this morning i'll go to the doctor so i hit the road at 7 30 clean I'd like to make a point to say that clean went to the doctor went by the spa not for myself my driver had to go so i sat there and i curled my hair in the bathroom then i got tired anyway and went with my driver and watched her eat and that went just fine that took just fine you know asking for ice so i could pour my protein water over it, it looked like a i don't know weirdo but i didn't care i mean i've looked like a weirdo before and then what happened oh home nap time great nap great nap and now we put uh, my husband to work over at my driver's house which is Ashley. I mean, everybody knows it's Ashley. And he's cleaning out drains. And so we've gone to Lowe's to get things for that. So I, got, I went to Lowe's. I walked around Lowe's. Started sweating profusely. So I don't know if it's surgery. I don't know if it's just fluffy. I don't know if it's lack of hormones. Summertime. Started feeling like I was going to pass out. Could be any number of things. Or it may just be I was ready to go to the damn truck. So here I am at Lowe's. Whatever time of night it is. And... I have had a good day. I've kept myself busy. My form of exercise is hitching rides to town, so I'm forced to walk to places. Um, a lot of my fear is much better. I still have, um, I have this irrational thought, even though my stomach, 85% of my stomach's gone and I have 15% of it left, that I'm not gonna lose weight. That I'm gonna be one of these people that like doctors are talking about around a table. Well, they've already talked about me around the table with all my cancers, but, like for my next thing would be, yeah, we took this lady's stomach and she just never lost weight. Never did. I don't know. It was just the weirdest thing. That's what I'm there. That's, that's in my head. Um, but anyway, I'm sure it'll get out of there. There's a lot of things in my head that scare people. Scare me. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing great. Hey, Brody. He's my youngest subscriber. And I think he is just an awesome kid. Right up next to mine. Um, who, when I said, hey, mommy's got a YouTube channel. And he just looked at me and he said, what are you saying to me? I just don't understand. I don't really want him to watch it right now. He asked me the other day, I hurt my knee before I had surgery. Cause yeah, that's what I do is I fall before I had stomach surgery and I strained my MCL. I'll talk about that another day. And um, so I'd went to the doctor for that and, or maybe I broke my, I don't know. I strained it. I think I strained it cause I'm walking fine now. Well, it hurt, but anyway, Easton said, mommy, why did you, have how'd you how'd you hurt your knee and why'd they operate on your stomach to fix your knee so i don't know i'll get to all that at some point but i love you guys i hope you're having a great friday night and mwah.